Hi, I'm Dr. Dane Happany, physical therapist with Healing Motion Physical Therapy, accompanied by my five-year-old son and three-year-old daughter who are kindergarten and preschool age, and we're gonna talk to you about backpack wearing and just overall health. So the number one thing is that we really just wanna focus on our kids' strength and their ability to hold the backpack weight right for them, and we want them to get stronger with time. So a general setup for our backpack, if we turn around here, is that it would come to the middle of our tush. So Easton's is a little uh, a little big for him. Ideally, it would come right here. And with that, it, that it would fit snugly around the shoulders. His backpack is tightened up as much as it'll go. So we'll do a little less weight until he grows into it a little bit more. Um, if you have a chest clip or a belt clip, you can wear those snugly across your chest and across your hips. Then we get to weight in our backpack. So ideally, we want to start with about 10% body weight. So we've got six pounds in this backpack, a little over 10% for 50 pounds. And we have got three pounds in the backpack of our 30 pounder here. The biggest thing is we just wanna demonstrate the strength to be able to do that. So we do two tests to demonstrate the strength. If we pass the test, that backpack weight is okay. And we could maybe even bump it up a little bit more. If we don't pass the test, we should probably decrease the backpack weight and then do these two exercises, overhead press and some lunges as an exercise with our backpack to get stronger. So we're just gonna do five reps. The test would be 10 reps. So what you do is you take your backpack off and you set it on the ground. Go ahead, kiddos. Good job. And we grab it and we turn and face. And then we're gonna go from the floor all the way overhead. So all the way overhead, and that's one. And then back down, and then we'll repeat. And what you're looking for with your kids is that they're able to stay pretty straight up and down, not have to use a ton of momentum, um, and that they're not leaning back a lot when they do that. And so you would do 10 of those. And if they can do that with their backpack, then they have sufficient strength to carry that backpack. Then guys, we're gonna put our backpacks back on. So let's go ahead and put our backpacks back on. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a lunge. So we'll get that on, good. They were so tired after that workout. And then we will get this backpack on, thank you. And now we're gonna do a lunge, which is basically just dropping a knee down. So we're gonna stand like this, guys. And then we're gonna drop a knee down. And then we're gonna stand back up. Good job, stand back up. And then you would do five on each side. So we would go ahead and do five more. Good, and then we would switch sides. So that's a little tougher for Easton, so we can kind of work on that. Maybe we should do a, a pound or so less in his backpack. Uh, so that's the biggest thing with uh, our backpack health is making sure that you're strong enough to do 10 overhead presses, five lunges on each side. That a general starting rule is about uh, 10%. And then from there, we just wanna get stronger and use that overhead press and those lunges or squats as our exercise. So. That is how we can size a backpack and be safe with that and have just tons of fun, uh, you know, at school.